this week on EV Rider, we're bringing you the world debut of Karma's Giacera at the 2024 Amelia Island Concord d'Elegance. Karma Automotive President Marcus McCammon elaborates on what is scheduled to be one of the first two pure EVs to go into production. Its first car, the Rivero, is a plug-in hybrid. All right, so this is the Karma Giacera. Giacera is it means Earth Princess, okay? And the idea is that this is our first uh, all-electric Grand Coupe. So it's got the proportions and the design aesthetic of a coupe, but it's packaged for four people. So the idea, we have a 590 horsepower all-electric BEV. It's got a range of just over 250, 250 miles. Um, it's designed for uh, racetrack performance and canyon carving. So it's got really, really stable, confident and capable driving characteristics. Uh, and we want it to be an all around uh, exotic, right? So we want it to be a car that you can live with, but still something that's very, very special. The Giacera shares a few components with the existing Rivero. The complete exterior is brand new with the exception of, of one rear quarter panel. The, um, the drive system and the calibration and the control system for the car is all new. The battery system for the car is all new. The interior is completely redone. Karma has decided to put its batteries down the center of the car in a tunnel arrangement, basically where a transmission would go in a traditional gasoline car. And the reason that we do that is because we like the low, the low long slung proportion, right? So it allows us to pull the vehicle down to the ground. So a lot of EVs, because of the, because of the skateboard design, they have to make the sill very, very tall. And so you see they do a, a, a design cheat where you draw the door down to the ground to try and give it that low, that low stance. We can actually deliver the conventional low stance like you would with an ICE car because of the fact that we use a tunnel battery. Now, we're not going to do that for every vehicle, but it's, it's a part of our design aesthetic for the beginning. Despite the tunnel arrangement, Karma has still found room for a front trunk in addition to a traditional trunk. And don't let the Giacera's practicality fool you. It's going to have impressive performance and handling. Um, my entire engineering team are former racers, race team leads. I mean, my, my chief engineer, two, two leads of my engineering team were former leads on the 4GT. Uh, one uh, has won four IndyCar championships, the other has been on six race teams and has a collection of maybe 70 podium finishes. So our, our bent is definitely towards performance. The arrival for this car is, right now the timing is slated for the end of this year. Now, I will be honest, there's some things happening with the, with the automotive market in general, the EV market. So we have to pay attention to how the supply chain's moving, but definitely they will be able to take ownership of them in, in between the end of this year and, and in 2025. In terms of pricing, this car is base price at 195,000. Every Karma will be designed, engineered, and made manufactured in Southern California. And all of our cars are customized. So when the car is delivered, we actually um, have the sill plates hold the serial number and the VIN of the car. They're done personal for every buyer because what we really want is our buyers to come in and, and pick the car with them. We actually have a, a service that we call uh, Karma Reserve where you can have sit with our design studio and they will curate the entire color and trim package for your car specifically for you. So basically every car is a one of one. Now the other thing that should be noted is that we're always going to build them in low volume. So the Giacera will never do more than 800 in a given year. And we have a fixed amount of time that we're going to run it. And after that, we will not build the Giacera again. Also on display was Karma's stunning Kavea Coupe EV, which is expected to arrive in late 2025. The Kavea is a gorgeous design, but don't take my word for it. Here's what the former head of design at General Motors, Ed Welburn, had to say about the car. I mean, I heard they were having their debut and I wanted to come over here really for the other car, but when I saw this coupe, I was just totally blown away. The proportions are great. The execution of the design is just fantastic. I mean, just the sculpted lines, the integration of all the surfaces, of all the elements, and overall proportions are just absolutely spot on in my mind. As a man that's overseen so many designs that mm -hmm. actually made it all the way through the production, yeah. what's your first take on how much of this might translate to what we see at a showroom? Well, you know, my take is what I see is absolutely wonderful. It's all a question of what the relationship is between design and engineering. You know, what the commitment is, 
because I think an awful lot of what I see here will be, should be, in the final production vehicle. Yeah. Yeah. And if they keep going on the track they are, they're going to have a great production car. The base model is forecast to have 536 horsepower, while the top tier all-wheel drive version is expected to have a staggering 1,000 horsepower, with an estimated 0 to 60 time in under 3 seconds. The Kavea tips the scales at about 5,300 pounds, and right now is forecast to be equipped with a 120 kilowatt hour battery, good for more than 200 150 miles of range. One of the things that I find really neat about the Kavea that I hope makes production is a modern take on hidden headlights. Check out the Amelia Island Concord Delegance playlist for more coverage. And if you've enjoyed this episode of EV Rider, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe to the EV Rider YouTube channel.